Five myths about fever that all parents should know. Let's go. I must qualify this by saying this is for children above the age of three months. Children below three months require special attention. Myth number one, temperatures of 99 to 100 are considered low grade fevers. This actually is not true. As a matter of fact, temperature fluctuates throughout the day and that's a normal process. We don't call anything a fever until it's above 100.4. Even if you usually run low, you don't have a fever unless you're above 100.4. Myth number two, fever is bad and can cause brain damage or seizures. In actuality, fever is a protective mechanism and it shows your immune system is working. Most children cannot get to a temperature level that will ever cause any problems in their body due to routine illness. When it comes to febrile seizures, it's actually more the kid than it is the fever. About 5% of all kids will have febrile seizures, whereas the other 95% will not have seizures with any fever level. Myth number three, all fevers should be treated. Actually, you should only treat a fever if a child looks uncomfortable. And that's the only reason we really treat fevers for routine illness is because once it gets above 102 or 103, the children start to feel very bad. And when they feel very bad, we want to alleviate that. So we treat the fever. Myth number four, the height of the fever determines whether it's serious or not. This is not true. You can get very high fevers from very routine illnesses like an ear infection and have it be not serious at all. It's more important how the child looks and how the child is acting. Myth number five, if we can't break the fever, the cause is serious. This isn't true as well. Acetaminophen and ibuprofen, which we commonly use to treat fever, will only bring it down about two to three degrees. So if you have a very high fever, it's not going to completely resolve that fever. And once the medication wears off, it's not gonna work at all. That's a normal process. And it's normal for the fever to come back once the medication wears off. Or if it doesn't wear off, it doesn't mean that your child is seriously ill. If you have sufficient concern over your child's illness, it's always best to err on the side of caution and get them checked by an appropriate medical professional, but hopefully these tips will help keep you out of the emergency department.